The, the moment there's a, a, a trial for the drug aducanumab, which is now, which uh, ISI uh, believes has shown marginal positive effects, it's an anti amyloid therapy. And, you know, we're going to, we'll know about that, I think, in a year or so. Uh, the, they believe that the trial was marginally positive. If that works, I think it's going to have a big, if they are right, that's going to have a big effect on the field because it, it really points to the fact that if you do anti-amyloid therapies right, you can have <clears throat> some effect on disease. And I think that will really change the picture. If that doesn't work, I, I think uh, really we have to understand, we, we, I won't say we're back to the drawing board, we do understand a lot more about the disease, but it means we've got a, a longer, a, a much longer road to hoe. And I, the other thing I'll say about uh, aducanumab is that even if it is a, 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 a marginal treatment for disease, it is marginal, and we're going, we're going to need other therapies. So I think, unfortunately, this is going to be a long haul. I hope that aducanumab is a light at the end of the tunnel, but it's going to be a long haul. I should also say that um, uh, that uh, there's been a, a, an apparent drop in incidence uh, of Alzheimer's disease of about 20% over the last 20 years. That means that the number of 80-year-olds with disease is about 20% less now than it was 20 years ago. The number of cases overall is going up because, of course, the number of 80-year-olds is going up faster than that. But we don't really understand why that incidence has fallen. It's great news, of course, but we think it's because of better heart health. So, um, in fact, almost as um, a, um, a result of the work that has been done on improving heart health has led to a reduction on, uh, of the incidence of dementia. So that, of course, is great news.